So today is uh, going to be just doing some odds and ends. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, uh, do the final trim on the hole for the vent, uh, for the fan. And uh, I'm just going to do that with a router and uh, with a file. And uh, so <clears throat> since this thing slings aluminum chips and whatnot, I'm going to put on the funky safety glasses and my headphones. So now that that's done, uh, I'm going to test fit the fan and uh, get ready to install it. Okay, so, uh, alright, I've got the uh, butyl tape uh, on the uh, edge of the fantastic fan here. And getting ready to put it in. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, prop it partway in so I can run the wires inside. Um, one thing I've done is I take the I took this cover plate off uh, right here and um, pulled the, the the wires that were hanging out. It's on this side, yeah. That were hanging out. Uh, I pulled them inside, and then what I'll do is the wires that are coming out of the teardrop. I'm going to push them inside, and then I'm going to terminate everything inside the fantastic fan, rather than trying to terminate it and then push it into the teardrop. So. Careful here. I don't want to drop it all the way in because because once that butyl tape sticks, it really sticks. So I've got that kind of dropped in there. Now I'm going to go inside and fish, fish the wires and then uh, drop the whole thing in place. So uh, it's in, I'll go in and uh, screw it all together. You can see the butyl tape squeezing out here. Okay, once I get that screwed on, then I'll put the uh, trim plate on. Actually, I'll test it first, and then I'll put the trim plate on. Okay, here we go. Oh. So, should it be blowing in? And it is. Alright, that should be blowing out. moves a lot, a lot of air. So uh, there's the fan with the uh, trim in, fans running, everything. Uh, so looks good. Uh, so on to the next thing. Okay, so I'm bending uh, the, the, um, the metal for this uh, back part right here. So the metal is going to come up here and then it's going to make a, cut, a turn right here and then uh, lay in on top of this. Um, now, ideally, what I would want to do is I wanted to have a, a sheet metal break in order to make that, that uh, turn right there, that bend. But I don't have one, and um, I'm not going to buy one uh, just, to, just to do this. This is a, a five foot wide uh, um, 
piece of sheet metal and so that's a pretty expensive break I think. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it by hand and uh, so what I've got here is I have two uh, aluminum extrusions. These are just some things that I had sitting around the shop. I think you could do it with um, uh, with steel, um, you know, uh, steel square stock or, or, or anything that you have like that. You probably could even do it with uh, uh, four by fours or something like that. And what I've done is I've just clamped the aluminum here, um, right here, and, and this is where the break edge is, and uh, clamped the aluminum in here. Um, I, it won't give in the center, and I'm just going along by hand and just going uh, slow and steady, uh, making the uh, making the bend. So I'm going to continue to do that, and hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm going to continue to work on that, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so uh, I've got it bent, and I've got it on the teardrop here, and it's pretty good. I have a couple of dents right here, but I'm not going to worry about them. I think in use, it's going to we're going to get dents in it, so uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Not going to stress over it. So uh, anyway, so the next thing is to uh, I got to put a little tiny bit more bend in it and do just a little bit more trimming and then figure out some way to uh, put some uh, some kind of molding in here um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there but uh, anyway so I've got to figure all that out and then I'll uh, get to doing it. Alright I've rebent uh, this so put a little bit more of a bend in it and I uh, also uh, made a trim strip and so this is just a piece of, uh, of uh, hardwood that I had, ash I think it is and uh, so I just kind of shaped it and uh, pre-drilled the hole, put a couple of, uh, of uh, screws in there and uh, that'll hold down uh, that edge, cover up any raggedness on that edge and uh, also help me when I uh, go to fit this thing. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, put the tail section on here, uh, the, the aluminum on the tail section and the drill is pretty much the same as it was for the front. I'm going to put uh, sealant uh, along here along all the edges, um, use some uh, butyl tape at the bottom and uh, bend it around. I'm going to put, attach the top first and use this trim strip here to uh, help hold the top edge down and then bend it around, use some straps, things like that. It's kind of a wrestling match um, but um, should be able to get it on there and uh, we'll see how it goes. Continue on, and then I'll go to the sides. See what I mean about wrestling? <laughs> Thank you. 
right. I think I got them all on there. And now we'll go ahead and take the strap off. Okay, and the tail section is on. All right, I've got the uh, trim all trimmed, and I've got butyl tape uh, all up around the joint. So now I'm just going to put it on. All right, so I got the uh, tail section all on. So the trim is all on, everything is done. I haven't put the insert in. Let me show you what I did here on these uh, corners. So this is just put some cap here and then just took a, uh, a file and kind of filed around there. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, I think it gives it a nice, uh, a nice edge there. So uh, I'm debating on whether to put a piece of trim here. I think I'm gonna leave it off for right now and just see uh, how I like it because I think you know it's kind of a it looks like a pretty nice roll here and uh, so that that should be uh, uh, that should be good but if I decide that 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 edge is too vulnerable then I'll go ahead and put a piece of trim right there 